Welcome to the Vantage HR Influencers Podcast. This podcast is sponsored by Vantage Circle, the simple and AI-powered rewards and recognition platform for employee engagement. A few years back, the concept of boomerang employees was a little out of the usual. Such workers were stigmatized, believing they couldn't make it outside of their former employer's safe space. Even the employers chose not to rehire those who had voluntarily departed their positions. However, now as employers struggle to replace recurring shortages in their workforces, these boomerang employees are finding a more accepting audience. In fact, leaders like Steve Jobs, Steve Huffman, who is the co-founder of Reddit, have all left their high-profile positions and then returned to the same firm, enhancing the popularity of this approach. Hi everyone, I'm Sushmita, your host for the show. We'll be discussing Boomerang employees today. Please join me to welcome my guest, Joel Sebastian, the India HR lead at Esper. Hi Joel, welcome to the show. Hey, hey Sushmita, how are you doing? I'm doing good, good Joel, how are you? Good, good, I'm, I'm doing great. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me in this conversation today, Joel. Yeah, yeah, my pleasure, my absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me. So moving forward... Uh, before we start with the topic today, Joel, would you like to tell us a bit about yourself and your journey in the corporate world? Absolutely, Sushmita. Yeah. Uh, so to all the listeners, uh, my name is Joel Sebastian and I lead the India HR function at uh, Esper. And I've been in this HR profession for 15 years and it's been a great journey so far with a lot of learnings. And it wasn't always a smooth sailing. I had a lot of success, a lot of failures, but it's been worth the ride and I'm really grateful for the experiences. Uh, talking about my uh, my roles, I mean, it has covered large Fortune 500 companies, mid-sized mm-hmm. companies uh, through to startups. And one thing which I always keep in mind as an HR leader, my, my focus is always to partner with leadership uh, to establish and improve an awesome culture and employee experience. Okay. So um, moving forward uh, with the topic today, uh, Joel, uh, would you like to start by giving a short uh, introduction to Boomerang employees? Absolutely. 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 Um, so it's a pretty interesting topic. Um, and just to, just to give you a definition of, uh, the boomerang employees, uh, a mm-hmm. boomerang employee is a worker who leaves a company, mm-hmm. uh, and it can be due to personal or professional reasons, or it can be a combination of both. And they are rehired at a later point to work in the same position or a different one. And it, it's pretty much the same what a boomerang does. Uh, that is uh, an employee, uh, he leaves and then he comes back. And if you, if you ask me the reason, the common reason for employees to return to their workplace is because they're not happy with their current job, which can include variables like management style, lack of growth potential and corporate culture. Hmm. I hope that answered your question. Yeah. So uh, basically, these boomerang employees are uh, the ones, uh, the former employees who come back to an organization, right? So uh, okay. they know their way around and they can come up to speed faster than a new hire of course. So, however, the decision to uh, rehire must be sound rather than, you know, being a uh, pleasing one. So, what are the factors uh, to take into consideration uh, before rehiring an ex-employee according to you, Joel? I think that's a great question, uh, Sushmita. I, uh, so, as HR professionals or as uh, as a hiring manager, there are there are a few reasons which uh, you got to keep in mind. Um, one is, uh, sorry, a few factors, I would say. So one mm-hmm. is uh, we need to understand why the employee decided to uh, quit. Uh, so when I say, uh, I think we should ask the uh, as a why question. So the organization or the HR should look into factors which led to the employee exit. Was it money? Was it title? Or was it a bigger brand? Or was it a better role? Mm-hmm. And uh, I think based on that is when you need to take the uh, decision to hire forward. Um, and one important question the HR should ask is what has changed now for the employee if he or she decides to rejoin? So I think that's a, that's a crucial question which, uh, which the HR should ask, uh, the hiring manager. And the second aspect would be the culture fit and competency fit. Uh, so what happens is when an, when, a, when an employee leaves the organization and he or she joins another organization, they do change, uh, because of the kind of experience they have in the organization and they evolve. As a, as a professional. Uh, right. so, so he or she may not be the same person when he left the organization. So that is something which, uh, has to be kept in mind while we do the hiring. 
so we need to we need to actually check uh, like how the fitment is going to be right i mean when we hire a hire an employee when we hire a boomerang employee it's always important to check the culture fit because he or she would have changed and the organization also would have mm. changed mm. so that is one aspect which you need to keep in mind uh, and the other thing is um, in terms of the competency fit uh, he or she may not be coming back to the same role i mean it's not always that he or she will be coming back to the same role and because the scope of the role would have changed or would have expand so that is something which uh, you got to keep in mind and you need to check the competency also uh, while doing the uh, hiring so these are a couple of points which you got to keep in mind brilliant answer joel so uh, when i was uh, looking for some articles yesterday you know for while preparing for this podcast so i found this very interesting uh, number that uh, almost like 4 million of people are like uh, leaving their jobs each uh, left their jobs each month in the uh, first quarter of 2022 and 44% of workers are uh, were seeking for new careers so it's entirely possible that someone on our team will also leave us very soon but it's yeah. especially surprising when it it's someone with you know with whom you enjoy working or who has uh, enormous potential in your business and this is when we see that employers or managers becoming defensive or they take it personally uh, yeah. they argue debate and even you know publicly express their grief so in your opinion uh, joel what are the basic things that uh, we should avoid doing when we see an employee resign yeah yeah so i think i think if you are into people management this is something which you will come across uh, at some point in your in your career right and this is especially for uh someone who who just started uh people management i think uh, they 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 can panic also a bit in terms of how to go about it right mm-hmm. i think for me the first and foremost uh uh suggestion um uh, would be not to take it personally right so uh, in in so in many in many organizations where i worked uh so there is a tendency uh, i'm not saying everyone does that but few of the managers they have a tendency to take it very personally um uh, uh so we are all humans and it's very natural uh for us to uh, for us to feel a little bad and uh, feel i mean kind of ask that question to yourself that mm. did, I, did i do something wrong or i mean yeah. was, I, was i not i mean was i not being a good leader for the uh, for the team member right mm. uh, so it's not a, it's not always about you as a leader uh, it, it can be also sometimes but it's not always about you it can be due to other reasons like it can be compensation it can be career growth uh or it can be other factors like personal reasons work life balance so not everything is going to be under your control so i think that is something which uh, as people managers or as leaders you got to keep in mind i think you got to you got to yeah. take a chill, a chill pill uh if you if you ask me yeah um and if you come across uh, a resignation i think it's important uh, for you as a leader to have an open conversation understand the trigger uh, and if it's under your control as a leader uh, i think you should you should try to resolve it or you should at least try to alleviate the suffering reduce reduce uh, the suffering of the employee right mm. uh, and and um, like i said uh, it can be due to multiple reasons and if it works well uh, if it works then good uh, otherwise uh, we, we as leaders may not be able to do much about it and we will have to a uh, kind of ensure that uh, the process is continued and uh, the employee definitely will will take a decision and move out right um and and like i said once you get a clarity uh, i think it's it's important that uh, we follow through with it we uh, ensure the formalities are uh, initiated and one key thing over here is you got to be really respectful uh, treat your teammate well or treat the employee well and uh, so many times what happens is uh, if an employee resigns uh, from his role there's always a tendency to ignore or mistreat employees while they are serving the notice period please to avoid that as people leaders um so they are still part of the organization they're still part of your team and it's important that you treat them well mm. uh, uh and 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 the reason for me to say that is that once they leave the organization they are they are your alumni right i think that that is something which a lot of organizations do these days i mean they have an alumni right. group Yeah. uh because they they're going to be your ambassadors outside the organization mm-hmm. and uh, these days i mean the, the, the kind of uh, what do you call the, there's a lot of influence of social media be it twitter linkedin yeah. uh so it's it's very important that you have a good relationship you continue the good relationship with the employee mm-hmm. uh treat them well take care of them well so that uh they they they, they do they talk good about you they do they talk good about the organization and you never know they might come back also uh, uh to work with you again yeah so these are few things which i think you should you should uh, you should keep in mind 
Yeah, so that is why I think uh, a proper, you know, effective uh, exit interview is a very important thing when an employee leaves. I believe. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I think so. Most of the uh, nowadays, what happens is, I mean, me being part of the HR function, so uh, for many organizations, it is just a tick mark activity. But there are a lot of organizations uh, who takes it very seriously. Uh, mm-hmm. They try to identify the patterns and see what best they can do uh, to ensure that. Mm. um all these i mean these reasons are taken care of i mean any if there is any any specific maybe two or three patterns or two or three issues uh, they are taken care of right so i think that that's that, that's a that's a good point i mean that is something which uh, the organ- organization needs to um uh, look into uh, like yeah. the feedback mechanism i would call mm-hmm. it as feed forward mechanism more than feedback feed forward mechanism right So Joel so this is about people who voluntarily leave the organization so what do you have to say about bringing back employees who uh, employers terminated for a cause is it a good idea like yes yes sushmita i think i think that's a very relevant question especially uh, the kind of uh, economic situation we are in right now hmm. uh, and uh, i think I, i actually would like to keep it very simple i mean if you ask me about my inputs and many times this is something which i uh, tell my business leaders also um if if the employee i mean if an employee has been terminated due to performance issues or maybe due to some ethical uh, issue um it can be it can be multiple reasons right i mean when i when i speak, when i say unethical unethical behavior uh then the companies should not be going for a rehire okay so i'm i'm pretty clear on that hmm. whereas if you if you take the case of layoffs uh, so that that's that's one exception so it's it's not always necessary that an employee will be let go of due to performance issues right and even high performing employees can be laid off because of the current mm-hmm. economic uh, scenario mm-hmm. companies resort to companies uh, say the layoffs can happen due to cost pressure due to various cost optimization measures so i think we need we got to make an exception over there um if an employee would like to come back uh, later on if, if the hiring starts or if there is a role which is available for the employee we have to make an exception for them we have to ensure the necessary due diligence is done talk to the stakeholders talk to uh, the hiring manager uh, and then we should we should look at rehiring the employee back mm-hmm. and a w- word of caution here uh, like i said uh, it's very important to do due diligence before arriving at a decision uh, the hr plays a crucial role here the hr mm-hmm. has to consult uh, the employee's previous reporting manager and they i mean uh, the hr needs to ensure that uh, i mean obviously i mean uh, post consultation we will get a clarity in terms of whether he or she will be a good fit both culturally and uh, competency wise yeah so yeah so every organization can have their own uh, standards maybe well bringing back their employees but uh, yeah. definitely it, it would be good if they keep a you know particular policy and procedure for for the help of the hrs you know while hiring boomerang employees isn't it yeah absolutely absolutely mm-hmm. sushmita and mm-hmm. uh, if you ask me my inputs there are there are a couple of points which uh, uh, i do keep in mind so one is yes. obviously uh, the cooling period mm-hmm. the cooling period uh, so so many times what happens is uh, employees leave an organization they join another organization with a with a higher salary package or a promotion mm-hmm. and within 6 months uh, there is a tendency for them to come back Uh, back, to keep yeah. to the previous organization right mm, mm, um mm. so to so i mean the, I, the the ideal scenario is not to get into a bargaining sort of a mode um so so for that most of the companies I mean, many companies uh, at least wherever i worked so what we used to have i mean as a process was that uh, an employee if an employee leaves the organization he or she cannot come back within a year you need to spend at least one year in a different organization then only will be eligible for you i mean for you to be hired back to the organization provided there is a mm-hmm. requirement so that's one way of ensuring there is a process in place there is some sort of discipline in place okay right and and second thing would be it's always important to understand the motivation like i mentioned earlier uh the reason for employees to come back uh because the clarity is very important as an organization or as a hiring manager uh you got to understand what are those what what are those factors what are those motivating factors for the boomerang employee to come back to uh his or her previous employer right and uh, how different it is i mean from from when he quit the organization compared to how it is right now because right now the teams can expand the role the like i mentioned earlier the, the scope of role can a lot uh, of things can change basically yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so I think that is one key aspect, uh, and this is where the hiring manager, uh, I mean, in consultation with the HR, can take a take an informed uh, decision. And again, the third point is the due diligence part, which I spoke about. It's very important to get a feedback from managers, stakeholders, whom the employee, the ex-employee has worked with, mm. uh, and it has to be used as a uh, as a uh, what do I say? Yeah, as as a guideline or as as a as a part of uh, your decision making. when we decide to hire a hire an ex employee hmm thank you for putting that points forward uh, joel today so what would be your tips to the hr leaders or managers who are you know listening to us right now and are hiring a boomerang employees yeah so i i would recommend to go for it since it is a win win situation uh, for for the employee as well as the organization uh okay so the way i look at uh, it is uh, is that the very fact that both the parties i mean they are willing to evaluate w- evaluate working together again so so uh, it it means that there must have been some good experience right with each other previously mm. so i think that mm. itself is a is a, is a positive sign uh and couple of um couple of positives or couple of benefits if you hire a boomerang employee one is definitely the employee the boomerang employee will require less time to train and onboard than a new hire which is what a lot of organizations uh, look at i mean they 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 need people to uh, kind of come on board and uh, start working right away i mean um, start working in the sense like with with less with less training period right so boomerang employee that way is is a good option to consider um uh, another aspect is a boomerang employee will be more engaged and motivated because they have already been bought into the company's vision and mission right i think that that is that is mm. a crucial point here right mm. uh, and and which which definitely uh, is is some sort of an assurance that the employee is going to stay back for a longer duration with the organization mm. so that is also one positive and for me the, the the greatest advantage is if you hire a boomerang employee the greatest advantage is okay so they know how the company works right i mean the uh, the organization works plus they bring in an outside perspective which is definitely a benefit for the organization so so that that is a great advantage so these are these are few things which which comes to my mind when you when you ask me this question right great joel thank you for joining me today we have reached the uh, you know the last part of this podcast and uh, after listening to the entire conversation i'm sure that our audience might want to uh, connect to you so how can they reach out to you yeah absolutely sushmita so uh, the listeners they can reach out to me on linkedin or my email id my id is j o e l s e p a d r e g m a i l c o m Okay. And I would be happy to interact, answer any questions. Sure, I'll be linking to your LinkedIn profile in the show notes of this episode. It was a pleasure talking to you on the topic today, Joel. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and insights. Uh, these are really of so much value to our HR audience and we can't wait to get you back here in the podcast channel with another interesting topic another day. Thanks once yeah. again for your time, Joel. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Sushmita. It's been a pleasure interacting with you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thanks for listening to the Vantage HR Influencers podcast. Please do subscribe to Vantage HR Influencers podcast on Apple Podcast, Spotify, and our YouTube channel for new episodes.